The first epistle to the Thessalonians, usually referred to simply as 1 Thessalonians written 1 Thessalonians and abbreviated 1 Thess, or 1 These, is the thirteenth book from the New Testament of the Christian Bible. The first letter to the Thessalonians was likely the first of Paul's letters, probably written by the end of AD 52. Topic. Composition Topic. Most New Testament scholars believe Paul the Apostle wrote this letter from Corinth, although information appended to this work in many early manuscripts e.g., Codices Alexandrinus, Mosquensis, and Angelicus state that Paul wrote it in Athens after Timothy had returned from Macedonia with news of the state of the church in Thessalonica Acts chapter 18 verses 1 to 5, 1 these, 3 to 6. For the most part, the letter is personal in nature, with only the final two chapters spent addressing issues of doctrine, almost as an aside. Paul's main purpose in writing is to encourage and reassure the Christians there. Paul urges them to go on working quietly while waiting in hope for the return of Christ. Topic. Date Topic. Unlike all subsequent Pauline epistles, 1 Thessalonians does not focus on justification by faith or questions of Jewish-Gentile relations, themes that are covered in all other letters. Many scholars see this as an indication that this letter was written before the epistle to the Galatians, where Paul's positions on these matters were formed and elucidated. Authenticity <inaudible> 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 The majority of New Testament scholars hold 1 Thessalonians to be authentic, although a number of scholars in the mid-19th century contested its authenticity, most notably Clement Schrader and F. C. Bauer. 1 Thessalonians matches other accepted Pauline letters, both in style and in content, and its authorship is also affirmed by 2 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 13-16 have often been regarded as a post-Pauline interpolation. The following arguments have been based on the content. It is perceived to be theologically incompatible with Paul's other epistles. Elsewhere, Paul attributed Jesus' death to the rulers of this age, 1 Cor 2 to 8, rather than to the Jews. And elsewhere, Paul writes that the Jews have not been abandoned by God, for all Israel will be saved. Rom 11:26. According to 1 These 1:10, the wrath of God is still to come. It is not something that has already shown itself. There were no extensive historical persecutions of Christians by Jews in Palestine prior to the First Jewish War. The use of the concept of imitation in 1 These, 2.14 is singular. The aorist Eftason, has overtaken, refers to the destruction of Jerusalem. The syntax of 1 These, 2.13-16 deviates significantly from that of the surrounding context, it is also sometimes suggested that 1 These. 521-11 is a post-Pauline insertion that has many features of Lucan language and theology that serves as an apologetic correction to Paul's imminent expectation of the second coming in 1 These, 413-18. Other scholars, such as Schmithels, Eckhart, Demke and Monroe, have developed complicated theories involving redaction and interpolation in 1 and 2 Thessalonians. Topic. Audience. Topic. Paul claimed the title of the Apostle to the Gentiles and established Gentile churches in several important cities in the Roman Empire. According to Bart D. Ehrman, the Acts of the Apostles tells a different story of Paul's career, but in this case it reports that, while there were some Jews converted during Paul's initial preaching in Thessalonica, the Gentiles who were converted were a large number, and the Jews as a body fiercely opposed Paul's work there. Topic. Contents Topic. Topic. Outline Topic. Salutation and thanksgiving 1 these, 1 to 1 minus 10 Past interactions with the church 1 these, 2 to 1 minus 20 Regarding Timothy's visit 1 these, 3 to 1 minus 13 Specific issues within the church 1 these, 4 to 1 minus 5 to 25 Relationships among Christians 1 these, 4 to 1 minus 12 Mourning those who have died 1 these, 413 minus 18 
Preparing for God's Arrival 1 these, 5 to 1 minus 11. How Christians Should Behave 1 These, 512-25 Closing Salutation 1 These, 526-28 Topic. Text Topic. Paul, speaking for himself, Silas, and Timothy, gives thanks for the news about their faith and love, he reminds them of the kind of life he had lived while he was with them. Paul stresses how honorably he conducted himself, reminding them that he had worked to earn his keep, taking great pains not to burden anyone. He did this, he says, even though he could have used his status as an apostle to impose upon them. Paul goes on to explain that the dead will be resurrected prior to those still living, and both groups will greet the Lord in the air. Topic. See also Topic. Authorship of the Pauline Epistles Imitation of Christ Second Epistle to the Thessalonians References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Easton, Matthew George Thessalonians, Epistles to the Easton's Bible Dictionary, New and Revised Ed. T. Nelson and Sons. Topic. External links. Topic. Epistles to the Thessalonians entry in the Catholic Encyclopedia. Online Bible at Gospel Hall. Org. Thessalonians Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox Various Versions.